Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. As you can see, a little bit different this week. I'm here with Colin. Welcome, Colin. Thank you. I haven't been on a Swarf and Chips absolutely ages. Is there a reason, Chloe? Yeah. Um, okay. Let's not go into it. Um, this week is going to be a lot different. We're going to be recording some reaction videos. So obviously, as you know, the team travel all across the UK, don't they? Even Europe, Around globally. the world. Yeah. Uh, we're global, by the way. Um, that was around we, the world, by the way. <laughs> we have been getting lots of videos that we are going to react to. So me and Colin have never seen these videos, have we? Have you seen these videos? No, 100%. God's honest truth, I've not seen these. You haven't, I think you might have seen one or two. Let's be one maybe, or two is best policy. maybe. But just in case we need some help, is there someone else? Yeah, so we've got Tom behind the camera who's actually yeah. gave us these videos. So he's put these together for us to watch. So any questions that we honest, have... That's where he should be. Yeah, probably. Behind the camera. Uh, you should be that side. Sorry. Um, so, Tom has sent these in. Uh, we'll discuss them. Any questions that you have, just fire, on, fire them at Tom. And if you have any videos at home that you'd like a shout out or anything like that, send us, send us them in um, and we can sit here and we can react to them. So, Absolutely. should so we have a look at the first one? Let's see. And let's see our reactions because, uh, yeah, again, not seeing them. Let's go. Go on. Oh, go I on. can't do technology. That's why I'm. Oh, right, oh. ready? Hit it. Oh. Oh. Fail. Okay, so. Oh, hello. That's popping. That's popping. That's Mr. Is that Mr. Miyagi? That, catch yeah, because that's his tattoo. Look. Oh, on the left. Actually, that's his tattoo. That could be. Because I can see it oh, right okay. here. Oh. So this one, I think, what Tom's checking for. Tell me if I'm wrong. We're checking the size of the hole that he has drilled. So you've drilled it. You've reamed it. Is that correct? Well, yeah, I'd interpolated it, but uh, same old, same old. Oh, what do you mean, interpolated? So I'd used an mm. get, get. I'd not reamed it, I'd used an ah, emblem to see, it out. See. Uh, so why different did you choose a big drill? Because you can't get a reamed hole with a drill. And it's a, a lot nicer finish. I'm just asking a question, guys. So what, what is that called? That is a, what? Not a th it's not a thread gauge, it's a... It's a plug gauge. It's a plug gauge. So that checks the, uh, the size. If it sticks in there, it's, it's I too watch that small. Again. Hold on, just quickly. Okay. What accuracy did you have to go to? Uh, that is a H7 on a 12 mil hole, which is uh, minus nothing plus 012. Ooh, 012. Yeah. What does that mean? That's tight. <laughs> there you go. I that's, think. A mi that's essentially one micron. Which is. Okay, so that's really small. So a <laughs> Very technical. It's really, really small. That's really to, small. To, to bring it into perspective, a human hair is 0.1. Of a millimetre, okay. that's a one of that. So it's right. a dog hair, that's why. Sorry. Okay, I don't know why you looked at me when you said that. Can we move on to, I think we should move <laughs> should on to the next video. Yeah. How do we do that? Right, I'm the master of technology on this because I understand you were there when this was filmed. So master of technology has no idea because it's a Mac. I just need a mouse. Here we go, ready? Is that the play button, Chloe? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we've got a bit of okay, oh, so robotic automation going on. ABB robot takes a casting so this is filmed at that. cosworth um and what a fantastic place this was so this abb robot takes a uh, fully finished machined coated um engine block yep. or whatever they're making um, and then takes it into oh my god why what's wrong with so that it's something out of transformer like it's it scared the living daylights out of me like and the noise behind it was incredible so obviously it's got two on here now it will take those two and it will go in and it is able to manipulate so many different angles that it can blow uh, water or cleaner into all the crevices so you have literally nothing, no swarf. Can I have that installed in my shower? Yeah. <laughs> too much information. It's just a great bit of kit. But why did it, why did it scare you? It's two Could, robots working. In I love robots, love automation, but they're going to take over the world one day, I promise you. Oh, someone predicted, and did someone, they predicted AI 50 years, but they brought it down to 10 years now. Well, AI, AI, AI has yeah, been yeah. around for AI years, what? and now I think it's, it's very dangerous. So what is this showing? Well, no, you tell me, you're the expert. Well, it's, got, it's a tool hole cut in half, isn't it? Well, that's, that's not going to hold me. So anything. why are there ridges in the bottom of this tool? Does, that, does it go in and then locks into place? So that was filmed at A and B last year. And the Heimer Safox system essentially means even with a shrink fit holder, yeah. end mills can still move under really yeah, yeah, yeah. hard roughing. Well, essentially that system means when it goes in, it's locked in. 
So it, it cannot, and then they'll come How, to how is it locked though? Because obviously it goes because in. The rotation of that is the same rotation as the end mill spinning. So it completely locks so it, in. So as the end mill's spinning, the end mill is constantly pushing against the lock. But would it, would it be different if you're up milling or climb milling? Yes. But you wouldn't so want different, milling or climbing. different directions. So normally you'd have obviously your spindle spinning clockwise, and you climb. I can't remember which way it is now. You climb, which means We're supposed to be educated. You go people. in. You go in clockwise around the part, and your tool is working clockwise. So your your cutter is cutting in the movement around the part. But then if if you're moving the other way, so your cutter anti clockwise. Yeah, around the part, but your cutter is moving clockwise. You're going to be taking it off that way instead of you going into the material i think at home I th it, it, tell me if oh, i'm wrong at home they're getting that yeah they? so you're cutting against the material that way or you're cutting into the material against or in that's okay. how i think about it that's why. so that's really good because with collet trucks especially you are probably going to have movement if you haven't secured your tool properly absolutely all right master of technology i don't make that bigger I don't know. The, and you um, wouldn't like that wrap around your head, would you? That's why you have safety doors. Um, okay. That's fantastic. What is that being? Is that a five, four axis? Four plus one? What uh, machines that, has been? That oh, well, I do. That is actually on a Starag yeah. Hecate T55, which is a four horizontal five axis machine. Okay. And I can see it now. The lights kind of come on. Um, Milton. That's great. I'm I love assuming. that. Just a full five axis, but yeah, you can they can you can grind on it and so you can do everything. Oh, okay. So what system. was this video meant to represent? So that is um, turning hardened steel. Okay. And Why that's are they not running using on it? a because they are using a ceramic insert, okay. which means the the heat it generates if you cooled it down the insert would would um, shatter. Right. So the, the insert gets hot. So it's Which like helps a, with cutting. An analogy, if I can use a word analogy, yeah. it's like an F1 car. You want those brakes super hot, right, red hot almost, when they work at peak performance. So to get the ceramic tip at peak performance, that's easy for me to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want it super hot, so you don't need the coolant. So that, you've got, na you've got. Sorry. And sorry, that was actually done as a demo, um, where they turn the lights off in the machine yeah. to show just how hot the swarf gets. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the What was your biggest crash? Mine actually wasn't my fault. Ah, uh, radio. Oh, it was go. somebody else's fault. No, I I was on a five-axis machine, and we were creating and you should have been some. On a three axis. We were making some engine covers, and I said to the the bloke, "Tell me which programs I need to run, because um, there's only four or five programs." Because I was covering for him, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, no problem." Literally, I'd done six hours worth of machining because it was all little uh, button tools going round and ball noses, and then come to the last one pressed go and the tool just went warp straight into the straight into the table and I myself. Um, uh, no yeah. language no language like that potty mouth yeah. not on this um, show. No I, I cried I was so it scared the life out of me and I always check your program. Check t once twice three times? Yeah just twice. Okay. Right well that's why you have crashes. Just run it, run it through and run it through in fresh air four times that's what i used to do and then just go it's fine there you go um i'm gonna say we need more of those videos please because yeah absolutely brilliant i have not seen i honestly have not seen that well, i actually did see the i have seen the first one i've got to be honest before but great videos get more in please we need them our reactions closed reactions and god be honest yeah please Come, let's let us know about some of your crashes and if you're prepared to show the videos as well lovely lovely stuff chloe anything else to add no, uh, it's sponsored by Intercoast Special Steels and Alloys. And has it been a delight to be on a swore show with me? Yeah.